Well, it's one more day to 40 days of power. And tomorrow we start our 40 days of power, of prayer and fasting. And so I want to talk about some practical guides uh, to help us uh, in this season. Matthew chapter 6, verse 17 and 18. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So Jesus talking to his disciples is giving them practical guides on how to go on a fast. And uh, as we said yesterday, Jesus expected his disciples to go on a fast. And now he's telling them what to do when they go on a fast. And so I just want to follow the, the spirit of what he's saying to also give some practical guides uh, that we can observe on a fast, especially a long fast as a 40-day fast. The first is that we fast in faith. Uh, we don't fast in doubt, in anxiety, in worry, and neither do we fast to show forth to other people, to display to people. Every act of fast must be done in faith. Secondly, uh, when we fast, we start slowly. And, uh, and when I say slowly, I mean that don't try to do a fast that does not involve water. Maybe you don't go with food and water for a very long time. But start with a daily fast. And that's what we're starting with, this daily fast, a 24-hour fast. You start, you break it every day, and then you continue the next day. So we start from that point. Now, over time, you can decide that uh, apart from a 24-hour fast, within the 40 days, you can do maybe a 48-hour fast. That means two days uh, where you don't eat, and then you, you continue. So you have to maintain a good rhythm. Third is that you drink lots of water. No matter what you do, you have to drink lots of water during the fast. In the Bible, there are only a few instances where people fast without food and without water. And that takes them for just about a maximum of three days. But if you're doing a long fast as a 40-day fast, you have to drink a lot of water. Drink water as much as you need it. It will not break your fast. It is part of your fast. Number four, don't be legalistic. I know sometimes people wonder, what, what if I do this? Have I broken my fast? If I brush my teeth, have I broken my fast? If I take my medication or a cough syrup? Uh, don't be legalistic about those things. God is looking at your heart. And there are some things that you have to do necessarily. Uh, sometimes you have to take medication or you have to take something just to keep your body in good shape. Please don't be very legalistic about it. And then sometimes, you know, uh, when you're fasting, you forget yourself and before you realize there's some food in your mouth, uh, uh, my advice is just uh, stick with the one in your mouth, swallow it and continue your fast. So don't say, oh, I've broken my fast. It's nine o'clock in the morning. I just took this. I've broken my fast. You haven't broken it. You're continuing. So just finish with what is in your mouth. Don't add more to it. Just stay with it. Uh, and continue with the fast. Don't be legalistic about it. God understands your heart. He understands our human weaknesses, and you can still continue the fast if you make a little mistake like that. And then when you are fasting, expect results from God. I mean, we don't just fast uh, uh, just for fasting's sake, just to be hungry. We expect that God hears us, that God sees us, and, and that God answers our prayer. And, and when you fast, spend time in prayer, spend time in the Word of God, spend time before the Word of God. And if you have to um, break a fast in the evening, uh, you just make sure that you don't uh, eat up all the food you have stored up throughout the day. Eat something very light. It helps you to continue the fast the next day. Eat something very light. Uh, don't eat very hard carbohydrates because... Uh, your body will find it difficult to digest it throughout the night. Uh, so eat something very light, something easy on your stomach, 
uh, so that the next morning uh, your body is aware that you are in a fast. Otherwise, your body has to relearn every day to start all over again. Then the fast becomes very hard. So just some practical tips. But tomorrow we start, and I pray that God gives us all the strength to start from tomorrow and conclude the 40-day fast. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to stay on course as I draw close to you. Let each day be a spiritual journey with you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, tomorrow I'll catch you, and by the time I speak to you, we will be beginning our fast. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.